Hello, hello, and welcome to today's video, which is a compilation of top 10 mid-luxury vehicles. So whether you're looking to upgrade your car, or you're looking for something a bit more sleek or more stylish and sophisticated, or maybe it's still your first job, but you're kind of making, you know, nice racks. Maybe you're a doctor or something, so you can afford these prices. Welcome to today's video. My name is Lubukia Kumalo, and I am super excited to do this video. Uh, if you didn't catch last week's video, it was on the top 10 most affordable cars. So cars that were budget friendly my name is Nogusha Kumalo and I'm a personal finance creator some of the videos I've made include how to buy shares top 10 affordable cars how to file your taxes side hustles interviews you name it I've done it note these videos do not constitute financial advice my aim is to plant the idea it's up to you to water it and if you enjoy my content please tip me with a like comment and subscription so first things first, let's cover the assumptions. And guys, when I do these assumptions, it's not just because I want to talk and waste your time. It's because I'm trying to tell you the type of criteria, the type of risk profile I'm actually doing uh, this calculation for. So you can also go and do your own calculations at a later stage. So if there's another car that I didn't cover here, but you're like, oh my word, I wonder how much it costs. Don't worry. There is a West Bank Finance calculator that I have been using for these videos. I'll put the link in the description box below. And then just follow the criteria that I've done let's get into the assumptions so in today's video i am going to be doing new and unused cars manual transmission however please do note that because we are in the mid luxury segment some of these cars do not come in manual so they'll all be in automatic but for the purposes of my calculation i have taken the cheapest car i could find on their website and that's what i've given you also taken the basic entry level version so there's no r-line kit amg kit i've also assumed an interest rate of 13.75 percent and this is basically prime plus two Next up, there is no deposit and no balloon payment. So it is financed over six years, so 72 months. I've included a registration fee of 1,200 Rand. However, I have excluded extras such as car insurance, tracker, service and maintenance plans, uh, scratch and dent policies. All right, let's get into the video. I'm super excited to show you what I've come up with. All right. At number one, we've got the Mazda 2. This is a 307,100 Rand, an estimated monthly installment of 6,380. At number two, we have the Renault Clio. This has a total cost price of 312,999 with the monthly installment of 6,501 Rand. So at the Renault Clear, my mom used to love this car. She wanted to get it in red. Uh, so naturally, when I was also starting my new job, I was like, hmm, you know, maybe I can get a Renault Clio. Little did I know how expensive they were. So obviously, I did not get one. Number three, we have the Kia Rio coming in at 330,995 Rand with a monthly installment of 6,870. Number four, we have the Polo TSI. This is 348,200 Rand or an estimated monthly installment of 7,222. So for the Polo TSI, I am currently driving one of these. I've got the 2019 version. Um, I bought it as a demo and I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, also in the VW range, which I'm currently trying to convince my mom to get so that I can swap with her is the T-Rock. I love the T-Rock, the one with the R-Line kit. It has to have the R-Line kit. And that is currently 541,900 Rand or a monthly installment of 11,187 Rand. At number five, we have the Mini Cooper three door. So when it says three door, they literally mean it's a two door and the boot. Don't know why they count the boot as a door, but let's get right into the cost. Mini Cooper is coming in at 464,068 Rand with a monthly installment of 9,594. I just want to say when I was looking at the Mini Cooper website, I realized I was really in the mid luxury segment because the way their website was set out, I could even do a 360 tour of the car. I could do a 3D interior tour. It was just super nice and you could play with the colors just to decide what type of car you're looking for. So I really enjoyed their website. So shout out to them and shout out to whoever they hired to do their website. It is really looking good. And number six, we have the Audi A1 Sportback. They are all Sportbacks. So I couldn't find anyone that wasn't a Sportback. Um, and these are 487,300 Rand 
or a monthly installment of 10,070 Rand. At number seven, we have the BMW 1 Series hatchback. And for those who don't know what a hatchback is, it is a car that is curved at the boot, whereas a sedan is usually longer with more boot space. Uh, so the hatchback will usually be cheaper and then the sedan is slightly more uh, just because of the boot space. Anyways, BMW 1 Series hatchback is coming in at 685,000 Rand or a monthly installment of 14,117 Rand. So I do want to mention that BMW is my younger brother's favorite car brand and he's quite a car fanatic and the reason he likes BMW so much is because of the performance and apparently you can really like alter it really well and customize it and you know do all those nice things that people need to do to you know participate in car meets and all of that. I really don't care about that so I'm like oh whatever can I afford it that's the only thing I want to know and do I like how it looks. But anyways, just for interest, um, I decided to check how much one of his favorite cars were. For the BMW M3 competition, this is 2,075,000 Rand. Or you can pay a monthly installment of 42,573 Rand. So I really love my younger brother and I would have loved to surprise him with this car, but unfortunately, I don't think this is within my budget, okay? It's not in my range. Maybe in a couple of years time, you know, give me five, 10, years maybe I'll do that for you but also chances are my younger brother will already have this car by then so. number eight we have the Volvo XC40 coming in at a cost price of 699,000 Rand or a monthly installment of 14,404 Rand Volvo is known to be one of the safest cars so a lot of people will use these cars especially as mommy cars just because of that safety aspect at number nine we have the golf gti so i'm not going to lie this one probably shocked me the most i knew golfs were expensive but not so much the fact that it's even ranking as number nine for you to get the most recent golf you will pay seven hundred and ninety three thousand five hundred rand or you're looking at a monthly installment of sixteen thousand three hundred and thirty eight so this one shot me quite a lot and I was like, let me actually check what a Golf R costs. So for the Golf R, it is 945,100 Rand and this is a monthly installment of 19,441 Rand. So I feel like I need to put a bit more respect on Golf drivers. Like obviously I knew it was a nice car and it's nicer than the Polo, but I didn't realize it was that much of a difference. Um, but also, you know, it depends on the versions, on the models. I know my dad and my brother drive matching red Golfs, but it's much earlier version. So I don't think they paid this much. And if they did, I need to have a serious talk with them. Because right, and then at number 10, guys, lucky number 10, we have, of course, the Mercedes A-Class. I have taken the A200, and this is only an automatic, okay? And the cost price of this was 794420 and the monthly installment was 16357 So Mercedes is clearly quite expensive when you look at the entry-level cars. Um, but I also do want to quote the GLE 450D. Um, so I actually really love this car. It's that beautiful curved car. I actually wouldn't mind this car as a push present if I don't get my Range Rover Sport. And I think Michani drives a similar one. It is currently going for... 2,374,430 Rand or you can pay a monthly installment of 48,704 Rand. So guys, I don't know if you're as shocked as me, I don't know if I'm the cheapskate or I haven't like bought a car in a while, but it shocked me that these are the prices and what shocked me is that, you know, 48k for a car, that's like someone's salary bro and you're just paying off a car. But anyways, you have different pockets and different priorities. Don't worry, we're not done. If you've made it to this part of the video, comment down below and let me know which car shocked you the most. Was it the Golf R? Was it the Mercedes? Was it the BMW? Which car took the cake for you? Or maybe it was the Clio. You didn't think the Clio is classified as mid-luxury. Whatever the case may be, drop a comment down below because I'd be keen to engage with you guys. Personally, the Golf R shocked me the most. 
So all in all guys, doing this video really made me realize that people are rich, rich, rich. I even took to my community and posted like, oh my word. And I asked you guys which cars I should definitely cover. And you guys left me comments. So I will be going through those at the end of the video, just so that you can see your favorite cars. But before I get into that, I just want to say, if you've seen these cars and one of them was your dream car and you're feeling a bit demotivated, don't stress. Like I said last week, there are always alternative ways to find your car for cheaper. And next week, I'm actually going to be doing this exercise. So I'm going to pick one of the mid-luxury cars. Uh, so you guys are going to help me choose. So, I, And I'm going to show you the different ways or the different type of research you can do to try and find your car for a more suitable amount. So stick around. Make sure that you have subscribed so that you don't miss next week's video. And if you're still not subscribed because you feel like you're going to keep seeing me on your YouTube recommendations, I just want to say good luck because chances are you might not come across this channel again and you're going to miss out. Alright, so it's time to vote. Which car should I do my extensive research on next week? Should it be option A, the Golf GTI? Option B, the Mercedes A200? Or option C, the Kia Rio? Let me know in the comments. You can comment the car name or the option and I will tally up the votes. Looking forward to hearing from you and I really hope your car wins. And the best way to maximize this is to share this video to your friend and tell them to vote for option whatever you want. Alright, cool. So I asked you guys in the community chat which cars I definitely should not miss out on. Let's have a look at what you guys said and I'll respond to you individually. Alright, I'm going to whiz through these. We had the Mercedes Benz B Class. So these have now been discontinued. This means if you want one of these, you'll have to find it in the second hand market. Uh, then there's a Porsche. You didn't really specify the Porsche, so I assume Porsche Carrera 911. This was 2,080,000, about 42,000 per month. Then we had the Mercedes AMG GLE 63S Coupe or Coupe. Um, and this was 3,337,137 rand or a monthly installment of 68,412 rand. And then we had the Ford Mustang. So I had to find one online and I got the 5.0 GT series. And this was 1,139,900 rand or a monthly installment of 23,430. Then moving on to this comment, which said the Audi A1 is on the same level with Mini Coopers. So the correct competition for a BMW 1 Series and a Mercedes A-Class is an Audi A3. So I gave you guys an Audi A3 and this was 664,600 Rand with a monthly installment of 13,700 Rand. All right, and then into the last comments, uh, we had the Hyundai i20. This was 333,500 Rand or a monthly installment of 6,921. Uh, the BMW 3 Series, so I got the BMW 318i. Uh, this was 827,894 Rand or a monthly installment of 17,042 Rand. Then we have the VW T Cross. I took the Comfort line, which was the cheapest. This was 399,000 or a monthly installment of 8,262. And then lastly, we have the A45 Mercedes AMG. Uh, the price this was actually unavailable on the official site, so they might be updating things. But what I did find online was an estimation of 1,256,243 Rand or a monthly installment of 25,811. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for actually engaging. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. In closing, thank you so much for joining me once again, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please tip me with a like. It's free. And I'll see you guys next week. And for those of you who are not subscribed, that's okay. I hope the next video will convince you enough to join the family. All right, cool, guys. Bye. P.S. If you want to consume more content similar to this, check the description box. I've left a couple of links to previous videos that I've done that people have really enjoyed and engaged with. I'm sure you'll enjoy those because I have been doing these videos for some time and you might find the best help in some of my earlier content. Anyways, bye. If you enjoyed this video, please tip me with the like, comment and subscription.